Have you ever wondered what weapon could rival the power of the universe itself? What if I told you that Lord Shiva created a weapon so destructive that only the most devoted warriors could wield it? Welcome to Decoding the Astras of Hindu Mythology. Today, we'll explore the legendary Pashupatastra, Shiva's fierce weapon of ultimate destruction. But what makes it so special? So, what exactly is Pashupatastra? Pashupatastra is the personal weapon of Lord Shiva capable of unimaginable destruction. Unlike any mortal weapon, this Astra could wipe out entire armies, worlds, or even existence itself. It's not just a weapon, but an embodiment of Shiva's destructive force. Could anyone wield this powerful Astra? Not at all. Only a few chosen warriors, like Arjuna in the Mahabharata, were granted the power to summon Pashupatastra. Why? because wielding it required intense devotion and mastery over the mind, body, and spirit. Without this, the weapon could turn on the user and bring about uncontrolled destruction. Just how powerful was Pashupatastra? Its power was unmatched. It could be released through mind, eyes, or words, and its destructive force could end everything in its path. In fact, even invoking it came with a divine warning misuse could disrupt the cosmic balance. That's why it was rarely used and only as a last resort. But is Pashupatastra just about destruction? Far from it. While it represents destruction, it also symbolizes the need for balance and responsibility. Shiva, as the destroyer, teaches that power must be used wisely. Pashupatastra reminds us that unchecked power can destroy everything, even the wielder. So, what do we learn from Pashupatastra? It's not just a weapon, but a symbol of responsibility and balance. Power without control leads to chaos. Join us in our next episode of Decoding the Astras of Hindu Mythology, as we uncover the mysteries of the Narayan Astra, another weapon of divine power. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell.